Hello, this is your CNI rep, Aisha Connor Gaydon, here at Glendale Community College Library, back again with another very short video on how to do textbook discovery for your course outline of record or core. Um, again, a lot of this you can discuss with your library liaison, so please reach out to us for assistance. But I'm going to show you a few things with um, WorldCat. And WorldCat is a publicly available website that compiles bibliographic data worldwide and has and shows access points for items. So it actually shows you where items are located in addition to their format, ISBN, and editions, which is all the information you need for your course outline of record. So here we are at worldcat.org. Again, this is a publicly available website. No need to go through the library, no need to log in. Um, you can get this from anywhere, on your smartphone, on your computer, from your office, wherever you are. And you can also use this for really any title um, that is a published work, really. Um, so like all websites of this kind, uh, WorldCat has its great search box. But before we jump in, I want to show you one thing that might be helpful. If you're just kind of discovering WorldCat for the first time, there is this topics area. And again, y'all are specialists. Y'all know exactly um, the sorts of content you want to review. But if you're taking on a newer course or maybe something that is not your specialty for the department, um, they do have these topics which basically characterize resources based on the subject. Again, these might be kind of general for what you need, but it might be a good starting place just to check out. So. Let's jump back to our um, home page um, in the home navigation menu at the top of our screen here. And now we're back to our items search box. Um, and you can be more specific if you have things that you specifically want to look for, like a certain library, like ours, or a certain list. You can also search for that. But we're actually just looking for the text itself. So we need items. Um, once you click into that search box, go ahead and type what you're looking for. So in our case, we're going to look for a biology book called Concepts of Biology. Again, this is what we call a found item search. I already know the name of the book. I just need some assistance finding it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click the blue search box on the WorldCat page, and it's going to think for me, and here we are. So similarly to our databases, again, you're going to see these really helpful filters either on the side here. There's some check boxes if you know your author or creator. Um, maybe you know your format that you're looking for. If there's a specific year, again, last five years for um, curriculum and instructional materials, unless you have a justification. So we want newer things for obvious reasons. We want to make sure we have the most up-to-date information. Um, so I can actually go ahead and click the title of this book if this is the book that I think I want. It shows me all the authors, gives me a tiny little summary here. But most importantly, it shows me um, that there are different editions that I can check out. So again, this is where you'll verify the actual information. So which book is the one that you're wanting to use, right? You can look at the year and say, oh, I want the latest one if there are other options here, or I want the one from the particular publisher, or I want the one that's in a particular format. So here it looks like this one's uh, updated and I have to figure out the difference between these two. Maybe this is just a standalone website and so maybe I don't want to use that one. But let's say I do. So here's our final version. Again, um, I can look at the information for this item by clicking show information. So this is the stuff that I need. The ISBN, for example, definitely critical to our um, course outline of record. Um, it's telling me that this is technically print. Uh, it's an OER, so it's online. But also very, very helpful, and this is what kind of sets WorldCat apart from things like Books in Print and other bibliographic um, databases, is that this will tell me where this is located. So again, this is an online text. Technically, it doesn't have a physical location. But in the case of a true, tried and true textbook, if you really wanted to maybe go see it or make sure we have it, you can definitely check out the physical locations of things. It'll tell you how far it is. If you allow them to see your location, how far it is from you. Um, it'll tell you how to get there. It'll even say, hey, can you borrow this um, material, how to do that? And if it's at a public library, you can even filter to just say, just show me public libraries for whatever reason. And again, we're looking at any format, any edition within a distance of 200 plus miles. So we're willing to go wherever we can to find this copy. And so that becomes really helpful when you're trying to kind of figure out texts. Um, again, for the purposes of found items, when you know the book and you know the author, um, you can just straight up go in here and verify that information that you need for your course outline of record. 
One last thing, let's go back home um, to our worldcat.org page, is similarly to books and print in all of our databases at the library, you will find advanced search. And here it's got these little toggle items. If you actually scroll over, it'll say advanced search. I'm going to click that. And again, similar to books and print, we have options. So if I'm not sure what I want yet, and maybe I just want something on genetics, um, I can put that in here. Maybe I want it to be um, from a certain um, publisher or a, contain a certain subject. So I know I want it to be like biology, but I'm not super sure, like more information about what I'm looking for, but I want it to be super new. So I'm going to put maybe 2015 to 2022 in here. And then maybe, you know what, I think I want an ebook for my class because I find that the materials online for students is really helpful and I don't want them to have to struggle to find uh, print books. So you can put those things and again, these ands and ors similar to our databases and is going to say find both of these um, terms or words or whatever you put into these boxes together in one item, right? So genetics and biology, they're going to look for something that has both. Or is saying, I'm not super sure which one I want, so look for both. So I could say, look for genetics or biology. Um, and that would that's if you have similar terms of synonyms that you want to look for, right? And then not just says, don't give me the thing. So maybe I want biology, but not genetics, right? And I would just switch these things around. So again, these are Boolean operators. We've used them uh, since the dawn of time. Um, they still help us find the things we need and are very, very helpful in that. So... Um, I think the main things for us, uh, look for topics, look for keywords, if you have a specific um, colleague or yourself that you would like to use, look for your author names, and most importantly, look for titles. And again, verify all of the information you need for your course outline of record, the ISBN for that specific format. Don't forget ebooks and print books have different formats. Loose Leaf and Bound have different formats. Every single one of those has an individual ISBN. And so you want to confirm that for your course outline of record to make sure the students are getting the right copy of the right book. And that is critical as we look at textbook costs. Nobody wants to return a book or not be able to return a book because we got the wrong ISBN. So thanks for watching. Um, let me know if you have any questions. As your CNI rep, I'm happy to support. Um, please reach out to your division liaison and they can help you with any of these sorts of material questions. And we can also work with you to make sure we're getting reserves. If you're interested in open educational resources, we've got it all. Um, so check us out. And if you need assistance, uh, you know where to find me. Thanks for watching.